Welcome back, my friends. It has been a while since I gave frequent updates on the latest developments in the cryptocurrency market. As many of you may have heard by now, the latest developing story in the cryptocurrency world is the bankruptcy of FTX. Just to review, FTX was founded and led by Sam Bankman Fried. FTX is a cryptocurrency exchange and it has a native token called FTX Token, or FTT. For a while, FTX was a fairly stable exchange. But it suddenly collapsed within the past couple of weeks. Initially, rival exchange Binance offered to buy FTX and bail them out. But, not long after making that offer, Binance backed out of the deal. Binance cited allegations of misuse of customer funds and investigations by federal authorities. Normally, backing out of a deal so quickly under these circumstances would also be investigated by authorities. But it is not clear that Binance falls under US federal regulation. So, yesterday, FTX declared bankruptcy. And founder and CEO Sam Bankman Fried stepped down from the CEO position. Now, the holders of FTX stake are coming clearer. And, surprisingly, there are some pretty big names. The crash in cryptocurrency prices shows no signs of slowing. But, where will it stop? What is the real value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies? What does this mean for the US economy? And, what does this mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Former FTX CEO Sam Bankman Fried lost his entire $16 billion fortune. This occurred within just a few days after FTX filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection yesterday. Investor interest in cryptocurrency and crypto exchanges has exploded in recent years. This has been fueled somewhat by high-profile individuals investing in and promoting FTX. This includes professional athletes and other celebrity entertainment personalities. One such athlete is Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady. And this comes just after winning the Super Bowl in 2021. Brady and his former wife Giselle Bunchen both had equity stakes in FTX. Brady promoted FTX as an ambassador. Bunchen was the environmental and social initiatives advisor for FTX. Brady and Bunchen starred in TV commercials for FTX. It's an incredibly exciting time in the crypto world and Sam and the revolutionary FTX team continue to open my eyes to the endless possibilities, Brady said in 2021. This particular opportunity showed us the importance of educating people about the power of crypto while simultaneously giving back to our communities and planet, Bunshin said. We have the chance to create something really special here, and I can't wait to see what we're able to do together, Brady also said. So far, the equity stake amounts of Brady and Bunshin have not been publicly revealed. FTX raised capital at a $32 billion company valuation just prior to the announcement of the deal. As it turns out, Brady is not the only high-profile person who appears set to lose money in the FTX bankruptcy. Steph Curry of the NBA champion Golden State Warriors is basically in the same boat as Brady. Curry was a global ambassador for FTX. Following the bankruptcy, it is not clear that investors who put into an FTX will be able to recover any of their investment. Their entire equity stake could be wiped out by the FTX bankruptcy filing. Curry. Brady, Bunchen and FTX did not make spokespeople available for comment. Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence is also said to be holding an FTX equity stake. Same with Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Same with tennis star Naomi Osaka. And get this, Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary is also said to be holding an FTX equity stake. Major League Baseball also has a marketing deal with FTX. Major League umpires wear an FTX logo on their shirts during Major League Baseball games. The home stadium of the NBA's Miami Heat was renamed Top FTX Arena back in 2021. MLB and Heat made no public disclosure of Thier equity stakes in FTX. Other notable holders of FTX stakes include Third Point Ventures Tiger Global Sequoia Capital SoftBank BlackRock FTX paused withdrawals earlier this week when there appeared to be a multi-billion liquidity crunch. Rival crypto exchange Binance originally offered to take over FTX. But, Binance backed out of the deal and called FTX's financial problems beyond its control. 
Their celebrity CEOs in this space as well as celebrity crypto entrepreneurs, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler. Gensler made his public comments after news broke of FTX's liquidity issues but prior to the bankruptcy announcement. The public can fall prey to their promotions, their marketing and the like, Gensler said. Bankman Fried tweeted to say that he was sorry for FTX's recent situation. I'm really sorry, again, that we ended up here, he said. Hopefully things can find a way to recover, he added. Cryptocurrencies extended their decline for a second consecutive day today. The crypto world and the market absorbed what might be the potential collapse of the popular crypto exchange FTX. Bitcoin sunk to just under $16,000 for the first time in recent memory. That price has not been seen since November 2020. If you recall, Bitcoin peaked at an all-time high of $68,982.20 one year ago. Ethereum fell by 14% to $1,128.87. The Bankman-Fried empire seems to have basically self-destructed. Last week, a report showed that a huge portion of the balance sheet had been concentrated in FTX token, FTT. FTX token is the native token of the FTX trading platform. After learning of the problem with Bankman Fried, Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao decided to sell the FTT that it had owned. The majority of crypto derivatives trading occurs someplace other than the United States. So far, it is not clear how much financial contagion will spill over into the rest of the market. Bankman Fried, for some reason, had recently been praised as something of a white knight in the cryptocurrency industry. At one point, Bankman Fried came to the rescue of crypto service firms BlockFi and Voyager. BlockFi and Voyager both succumbed to the crypto contagion this past spring. This week, Core Scientific raised the possibility that it may declare bankruptcy. Core Scientific is not widely known. That it is one of the biggest publicly traded crypto mining companies in the US. Core Scientific filed a statement with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. In the statement, Core Scientific said that it will not make its upcoming debt payments. The company has debt payments coming due in late October and early November. Shares in Core Scientific have plummeted more than 97% so far this year. When a company files for bankruptcy, the holders of its common stock are basically wiped out. Core Scientific management has stated that its common shareholders could suffer a total loss of their investment. The crypto crash rages on. The so-called crypto winter is having a dramatic impact on any company related to cryptocurrency. Coinbase, Robinhood, and other cryptocurrency companies are laying off much of their workforce. Warren Buffett, CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, has repeatedly said that cryptocurrencies are worthless and have no intrinsic value. He clearly thinks that the current crypto winter is a prelude to the eventual death of cryptocurrencies. Regular people who never even traded stock were suddenly active in crypto trading. But, what do you think? Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.